Hi guys, thanks so much for coming back. It is December 29th when I'm filming this video. I'm hoping I get this done and finished and all the links put in that I need to put in and be able to upload it either tonight or tomorrow Sunday. So this may be the last video of 20... 18 for me. I'm not sure. And in case it is, I'm going to wish you a very, very happy, prosperous, healthy, and safe New Year's. I don't know what your plans are for New Year's Eve, even if you have any plans, but Jay and I are going to get together for an early Chinese food dinner, takeout of course, with my mom, dad, my sister, and her husband. We're going to go to my mom's house. It's going to be low key, but it will be definitely fun. And then afterwards, depending on how late we stay, we may go try to catch the fireworks up at the beach or up in Portsmouth. We're not too sure. Sometimes we do do the fireworks and sometimes we go to a movie. More often than not, we're home and in bed in our jammies by 9 o'clock. <laughs> we're all fiddle farts, I guess. But I thought I, thought I would do the anti-aging gadgets. Some people will say gimmicks that people love to use or buy or in some case fall for for you know anti-aging efforts and being a woman I'm 64 I'm gonna be 65 it's so hard for me to believe I'm gonna be I don't feel sick there goes my heat again I don't feel 65 I really don't I, I feel so much younger. I wish I looked a lot younger, but I feel so much younger than my age. And so I am like many of you, I am on a quest to try to obviously stall the aging process naturally to a certain degree as much as possible. So I thought I would sort of summarize the 2018 gadgets that I have bought, tried, some of them I love, some of them not so much. Now, one of the gadgets I'm going to talk about, I bought in 2017, put it away, and then started to reuse it in 2018. I wanted to see if I looked back at it, would it make a difference? Would I feel differently about it? And I consistently used it for quite a while and did not notice anything. In that. And that particular gadget is, and this was not inexpensive. I bought this. This is the Skin Clinical Reverse Anti-Aging Light Therapy. Yeah. So I bought this. I did use this pretty consistently in 2017. I gave up, didn't notice any kind of a big difference. Tried it again in 2018. I think I went three months using it every day and then stopped again. Didn't notice any kind of a difference. And it's very, very time consuming. It is very time consuming because you're going over each area for a, until it beeps and it's a long time. And then you cover your whole face. So I found it time consuming. I didn't find it to be of any kind of uh, beneficial, it didn't give me any results that I could see, at least nothing noticeable at that point in time. So that to me is more like a huge, huge bust. The thing that is really positive is two products that I bought that I've talked about and I'll mention them again because 2018 gadgets, was that was the year for me where I went and I bought gadgets. So The first one was my Trophy Skin. Now, this is the Microderm Abrasion, Microderm MD. You might say, wow, this looks like she hasn't even used it because it's still so prettily, pretty, pretty, prettily packaged. I do try to put it back in the original container when I'm done using it because my thought process is that this would travel well in the motorhome this summer, etc. So what I've been doing this now, granted, this is new to me. I've only used it three times, what is it for? Three times to date. And the reason I'm only using it so sparingly is because of the Retin-A use. So I use this and I have it, I, I have a Google Calendar. You should see my Google Calendar. It kind of reminds me when I'm doing everything. Otherwise, you know what? I just wouldn't keep track of it. I wouldn't be able to remember. So I use this roughly every three weeks on my skin. And before I use it, I drop off my Retin-A use for two days. I'm using Retin-A consistently probably five times a week and it really all depends because that will shift depending on how my skin looks, what my plan is, etc. So the Trophy Skin Microderm Abrasion, it was expensive. I bought it at QVC. It was on sale. I did the three pay or is it five pay? Well, whatever. I did the, the multiple pay option. 
I'm glad I did. I'm glad I have it because when I use it, when I do the deep exfoliation with it, especially when I do the, the extraction with the little tip around my nose and all that stuff, I, I see and feel a big difference the next day. So for me, this is a win, an expensive win, but a win for me. I'm glad I bought it. The second thing I bought is also from Trophy Skin. And this is the LaBelle Ultrasonic Skin Spatula. I've used this a number of times. I've had to charge it a few times. It holds the charge really well. I really like it. You have the trick to this is to use it with wet skin. And as you are going along your skin, it is like deeply opening up and cleaning out your pores. This is to me a game changer. I really, really am so happy that I ended up buying this. It was expensive. I hemmed and hawed. I said, do I really need this? I bought the trophy skin, the, the microderma abrasion. Do I need the spatula? I went back and forth. Finally, I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I bought it. I've used it a number of times. I love it. Now, I've used this in the morning. I've also used it at night. More often than not, I will use it at night after I've done all my cleanse. Everything is nice and clean then I will keep my skin damp and I will go over it with with the spatula. It's amazing to me when I see the things that pop out. <laughs> it sounds so gross, but it is amazing to me. So I use that an awful lot. The other thing that I, it, and this is a gadget, is not new in 2018, but it's still a well-loved gadget. It is a very much a well-loved gadget. I I actually bought a dupe of this last year for Christmas. Jay bought me two, so I have one for the motorhome. But this is my Foreo Mini, and it's silicone. I clean it very easily. I use this I, I, at least once a day, if not sometimes twice a day. And I love when I'm washing my face and I'm putting on my lotion, my, my skin cleanser, and my face is nice and wet. I love the just smoothing this out very gently into my skin cleaning my skin with this the dupe was less than eighteen dollars and the dupe works just as well as the original does in my opinion of course that's just my opinion you guys are gonna crack up this is called face cupping so i bought these little face cuppers and what you do is is you you depending on the saw it's like an, it's like exercising your face is basically what it is it's exercising your face so it's kind of funky sounding because when I and I looked at it it's oh man but you you put it on your skin and then you squeeze it kind of works the muscle so when I first got it and I said well is that gonna hurt but it really doesn't so it has a few different sizes so that you can use it in other areas if you want and it basically this is just sort of like an exerciser for your face. It's a gadget. Do I know if this is going to work? No, I don't. Does the concept, excuse me, does the concept of it make sense? It does. You know, you exercise your body, why not exercise your face muscles? And maybe it'll have a very, a very loose skin, a very jolly skin. Maybe it'll help with that dry back on this. I used to do my derma rolling you know, every week. Now I'm doing derm rolling probably once every two weeks. And I have, I've said to, I use the Gen Amber derm roller. I really like the medical grade derm roller, but you do have to replace them frequently. So it's not inexpensive. Timeless has one. It's not medical grade, but for disposable, if you're not going to go deep, it's probably just fine. But the thing that I've been wanting to do is the derma stamping. Um, is that what it's called? Derm derma stamping. So right about the time that I decided I wasn't going to use the roller anymore, that I was going to do derma stamping, I was contacted by a company called Banish, Banish.com. And Banish.com said to me, you know, would you be interested in trying their sort of derma stamping and their vitamin C and their skincare products? So I said, sure, I, I would give that a try. So I've only used this this is this the damaster the stamp their company is be it's very an, it's an interesting company i'm going to link all the information below for anyone that's interested but mainly they are well known for acne acne and acne scarring and so most of their promotionals everything you, a lot that you see on their website is all about acne and they this concept obviously works for the anti-aging so this is what they're 
derma stamp looks like and I like that it's very protective you keep it in your little container you have, you have to wash your face before and sanitize and all that stuff then they have a vanishing oil it's it's a vitamin C oil it is really really nice it's a thick oil it isn't a thin oil at all so what I've done the first time I used this derma stamp afterwards I put the I followed their protocol I followed what they say in the kit that I have and they have a really luxurious vitamin C cream that I really like a lot but the thing I like the most out of the product the, their oil is very rich the vitamin C oil is very rich very different than my vitamin C serums that I have been using which are a lot more watery but I love their vitamin C elixir. I've taken this to work, I've sprayed it, and just when you need a little boost, this is perfect, I, and it's a perfect size. So this I'm really enjoying. They have an awesome pumpkin mask. This pumpkin mask even, I've only used this once, and I don't, I don't wanna dig in too much, but this pumpkin mask, smells 100% like pumpkin it is like amazing so I really like this a lot so my plan is not to derma roll but to do the derma stamp I'm going to find out more information about banish I this is not something you can continue to use long term you're gonna have to replace the head anyways because you know although you're not dragging it you're just stamping lightly just tiny, tiny, tiny redness. Nothing bad at all. Doesn't even hurt compared to the derma roller. So I really like that. So I'm trying that out. The other thing that I am trying, and you know, in my favorites, I talked about a face oil. I talked about some of the face oils that I like, and there's a face oil that I have been using, and I've only been using it about a week. So I can't give you any kind of long term, but this was actually gifted to me from the company via the Octoly Network. I'm going to try to pronounce the name of the company and of the product, Joharan. Joharan. It's an Indonesian skincare line, and it is a luxury skincare line. When you read the product information, it talks about how this was formulated originally way back, you know, for kings and queens because they wanted to have luxury type skincare and all that stuff. And so when I saw this being offered, I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. I love you. You all know I love my face oils. Radiance Vitality Oil. I'm going to link all the information and I'll put the product, you know, the contents up here in the description because I'm going to tell you, this is an oil that is, it's, it's absolutely correct. It is Radiance Vitality Oil. This is an oil that has so many awesome oils mixed into it. It's all you need. So every morning that I've been using this, now, I've again, I've only been using it for about a, a week, but every morning that I've been using it, the first morning I put way too much on. You this you have to use just a tiny, tiny bit, and then you just pat it on. My makeup, I, I mean, I can go straight from putting the oil on and letting the oil sink in and dry, and I can apply my foundation, and I never have any beading, nothing at all. It is, it is beautiful. If I mean, this is a luxurious oil. I think this retails like $70, Juhara. It is beautiful. That's all I can say. I love the combination. I love the mixture. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm so thrilled to have tried this luxury brand. So yes, this was gifted to me from the company via the Octoly Network. But it is, it is simply, simply a beautiful, beautiful oil. So really, truly beautiful. And that's going to bring me to a few other items because gadgets don't have to be things that you put on your skin. It can also be for your hair. So one of the things that I have loved for my hair has been some of the little hair pieces. If you've been following and watching my videos and seeing me on social media and other sites, you know that often I put my hair up and often I put it up in a fake bun and so or a hair piece or whatever you call these little things. So these little things are just cheap little little hair pieces. So the three that I have right now in my hands, these three are my original three. You can see they're getting a little bit frizzy looking. 
but they're they're all basically scrunchy type things so you can put this on your hair you can double it around and you can have a little bit of a you know that's how I do it a lot of times I'll put it up in my hair I'll add it on at, with a you know with a ponytail type thing I'll wrap my own hair underneath it and wrap this around it and then just fluff out the curls it looks really good most people can never tell I have anything on so those were the three that I bought originally from Sally's so then I found the same same type of a wrap in Ulta and I like the one in Ulta better because the hair is straighter not as curly as the ones from Sally so the two that I have actually have three from Ulta one I haven't even opened up the package yet because I bought the second one or third one I should say when they had one of their 20% off sales and it was just a really good buy. I figured I'm gonna buy it while the color was there. But these I like better because they're a little bit longer and you can wear one or two. You can put your hair up really, be very creative. You can take the top part of your hair, put it up, put one of the buns there, put a second one a little bit lower. It's really, really nice. I really like how you can do that. I also bought this little braid thing, little braid piece. So I put that sometimes in my hair when I put this up. It looks really cute, I think. So oftentimes I will take either my hair in a little um, Invisibobby and tie it up and then put the, the fake bun on top of it or I'll take a claw clip and, I, and that's why a lot of times these are stretched out because I'll put a claw clip in my hair for example, and then I will clip this around the outer edge of it so that when you're looking at the back you're seeing that and a little bit of a claw clip in the middle and that kind of makes it a different look so I either can pull it stuck you know up in a bun or pull it back in a claw clip I also bought the pony and I'm kind of sorry about the pony because I really never used it I tried to use it a couple of times and I thought it would be kind of a fun thing I think I used it once in a video and it's sort of like I was trying to be like do a throwback thing you know by having a pony the color is almost perfect for me I mean you know there's a little variation of the color but you know who knows I mean when I put my hair up my ends are a little bit different colored anyway so this is like a really cool cool ponytail only used it once I don't know if I'm ever going to use it to be honest with you a couple things that I bought that um, didn't work out for me and I never returned it and this was one that I bought from Paula Young this is a clip clip on I can't remember what I paid for it but I want to say, and I've never used this, mm, never used this, it's got a little claw clip and you clip it on. Now I, I'm bringing this closer so you can see that this color is just too light for me. I thought of selling it on eBay, but you know I don't have patience for that. So if anyone is a blonde, this is the color, I think it's 14 slash BBA. And this is Wispy Curls Clip-On from Polly Young. So if anyone has this color and um, you want to enter to win it, just say, I want to, I want to win the Polly Young Clip-On. Obviously, if your hair is not the right color, don't bother entering. But I just figured it would be, you know, try to get rid of it. I also have, these are just a little bit off for me. They're darker, but not much. But... A little bit but I also have this ponytail that I never used I think see I could almost get away with this but I never really used it this is sort of like you clip it and you put it on so I don't know I might try it still I just felt that the colors were a little off they were too auburn for me and is that I don't know if it's auburn but too you see a little bit off but I have these. I just haven't used them yet. I keep thinking I should do something with them too, but but I haven't. So I think um, I think that's really all for my my gadgets. I'll let you know how I like the face cupping as I continue to do that. In case this video is the last video, which I think it will be, this I just want to make sure that you all, like I said in the beginning, have a wonderful wonderful New Year's and be safe, be happy, have a great year. And I just want to thank you all. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for always being here and being so supportive. I truly, truly appreciate all of you. YouTube, for me, continues to be a fun place. I love every moment I spend on YouTube and I enjoy creating my videos. I'm not perfect. Gosh, I do know that. And my videos are not perfect. 
I'm just me and I'm just sharing little bits of what I do and what I know and, and sharing it with you all. You know, I think that together when we share things, we all learn. So I've learned so much from every single one of you. Those of you that have left comments that have made suggestions, I've learned a ton from you and I know some of you have learned from me and I just want to thank you. So have a wonderful, wonderful new year and I will probably see you I think next in 2019 unless I sneak in my vlog I still have a Christmas vlog video but I'm starting to think like oh, I don't know you know I don't know so anyways perhaps bye guys <laughs>